Okay, so welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, of my time. This is point five to three once again. I'm here to teach you guys the reverse of what I taught in the last video. So this is just opposite of uh, the other video. Now in this video, I want to teach you guys how to convert fraction to percentage. As you can see, this guy is a fraction. How do we go back from this to this? Okay, so the solution to this will be First of all, write down the question to over 5. Now, to convert fraction to percentage, all you need to do is to multiply by 100, you divide by 1. So, when you must have done this, you take it this way. If you can recall uh, one of my videos that I did with regards to multiplication of fraction, I told you guys that whenever you are multiplying fraction, multiply. The one multiply numerator with numerator and multiply denominator with denominator. So five and one and the denominator is two and hundred are numerators. You cannot say two multiply one, five multiply hundred. It doesn't work that way. So in this regard, it's gonna be these two multiplied by hundred, all divided by these five multiplied by one. So at the end of the day, 5 can divide itself, 1, 5 can divide 100, which will give you 20. So what we are left with is 2, these 2, the ones that didn't cancel, 2 times 20, divided by 1, 1 times 1. And with the 2 times this is 40, 1 times 1 is 1. So anything divided by 1 is the same thing. So we have 40, you put percent. So this is the answer. So therefore, it simply implies that 2 all over 5 is the same thing as 40%. So the last answer, you just put percent, the sign of this percentage sign. Okay, so there is virtually no big deal. So you find out that this guy, which is fraction, is the same as 40% in percentage. Okay, let me clean up this and give you guys another rundown. Okay, supposing we have this 1 over 10, say convert 1 over 10 to percentage. You write the question which is 1 over 10, to convert it to percentage, you multiply by 100 divided by 1. So at the end of the day, it will be this 1 times 100, all divided by this 10 multiplied by 1. 10 can divide itself 1, or it can divide 100, 10. So at the end of the day, we'll be left with 1 multiplied by this 10 here, all over this 1 times this 1, 1 times 1. 1 times 10 is 10. All over 1 times 1 is 1. One divided, 10 divided by 1 is 10. So since we are dealing with this, with your percent, therefore it implies. It implies that 1 over 10, which is a fraction, is something as 10%. So, absolutely, there is virtually no big deal to it. This is highly important because sometimes they will give you a huge amount of money to put it in percentage. You see, we are old men will be crying like a baby because they don't know anything about us. So, just give this a second thought and go to it so that you will not fall so cheap with a simple thing. So here, supposing I give you, supposing I give you, um, supposing I give you something like six over twenty-five. I say convert six over twenty-five to percentage. You write solution, then this guy says all over twenty-five. So convert to percentage, multiply by hundred, divided by one. So the next thing, use this guy to multiply this 6 times 100, divided by 25 times 1. So this implies that if you check here, 25 can divide, or 5 can divide 25 to give you 5. 5 can be 100 can be divided by 5 to give you 20. 5 can divide itself 1, you can divide 20 to give you 4. At the end of the year, left with this 6 multiplied by 4, divided by this 1 multiplied by 1. 
So 6 times 4 is 24. 1 times, all over 1 times from 1. 24 this is 24%. So it's implied that 6 all over 25 is something as 24%. So when they say mass is difficult, tell the person to shut down. He doesn't do anything. Okay, so there is virtually no big deal to this. Absolutely no big deal. So when you give, if I give you this one 3 over 5, same convert to percentage, the same thing 3 over 5, you multiply by 100 divided by 1. We have here 3 multiplied by 100 or divided by 5 multiplied by 1. This file cancel is a cancel 100, so give you 20. So we will be left with 3 times 20 or divided by 1 times 1. 3 times 20 is 60. Um, 3 times 20 is 60. Yes. Divided by 1. So we have here 60. So therefore, this implies that 3 over 5 is nothing but 60%. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so I will leave you guys to this to have a reflection with regards to words and God. And I will also encourage you guys to share this video to a good number of people. Please also subscribe to my channel. If you think what I'm doing is helping you guys, so please subscribe to my channel and keep on sharing this video to a good number of your friends. So, so far, so good. I will say thank you, my wonderful viewers, and do stay safe. Thank you.